I was not that cocky. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the fans rebelling because Ditko and I had very different styles. Uh, and I tried for the first six months to do as close to Ditko as I could. For instance, I used to do my inking with a brush, a bold brush. Ditko did his inking with a pen, very fine lines. So I abandoned my normal way and started using a pen to ink it, to be like Ditko. Mm -hmm. So I struggled to, it, no matter how I did it, how close I thought I was getting to it, my style started to show through. And that's the only way it happened. It happened gradually, I think it took maybe a year until I was making it my way, putting bolder lines, using a brush for blacks and things like that. Uh, so I, n I never had any, any arrogance about, all I was worried about was the fans are gonna be disappointed after three years of spidey success that it's gonna be a different style. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was not my assignment. My assignment was to keep it alive. So I tried, and finally, after a year, the the tension started to ease, and I and I found a style in between. Right. And that I was very lucky that people didn't not only didn't object, but some of I gather we we picked up readers. Well, I'd say it was very successful. Yeah, I think I think I've made it last a little long. At Dialecta Johnny Romita, Jay-Z Sir has died. Marvel confirmed Tuesday on its website. The artist was known for his work on characters such as Wolverine, Black Widow, The Punisher, Kingpin, Luke Cage, Spider-Man, and Mary Jane. Millions came to know Marvel through his art, and millions more came to know Peter Parker through the unmistakable bold blush work Romita brought to his pages, the company said in its tribute to him on its website. It was Romita's work that Marvel fans came to love for decades, the company said. Calling him a legend and a creative giant, Marvel executive said Romita was kind, grateful, and had a vision that would be benched into Marvel friends and artists' memories forever. It's his work that most people picture when they think of Spider-Man, said Nick Lowy, executive editor at Marvel Entertainment. Among Lomita's portfolio in, is the 1969 The Amazing Spider-Man and more than a hundred covers, Lowy said. Even an online listing of the comic sings Lomita's praises, noting that Peter Parker never seems to catch a break, at least not under the pencils of legendary artist John Romita. And the penciler was more than an artist, Lowy said. He also a fantastic father, a doting grandfather, and a gentleman, he recalled. May he so rest in peace. Thank you so much for